Beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Now the beautiful thing about Sasquatch Provincial Park is in the off season it's uh, free. It saves you about 30, 32 bucks a night. There's no services but if you're prepared it's uh, great. I'm here over the weekend so we have a, a fair bit of campers here taking advantage of it. Um, the park is actually going to close for a month on I think February 22nd for maintenance for the uh, upcoming peak tourist season. But uh, Harrison um, area is a place I've spent a lot of time at over the years, and uh, it's, a, it's quite a nice day. It was quite rainy yesterday. The price is right. It's a great place to camp, tent, whatever you want to do. Even do a little bit of fishing out in the lake. Now today we're going to talk about silver for the RV Silver Age for you uh, silver people out there. Uh, it's a little hedge against um, inflation I like. This is a 10 ounce bar of silver. I like to buy silver, and of course I like to uh, tuck it away in a secure place because uh, you don't leave this shit laying around in your RV or in your home. Um, but you know, buying a little bit over time, especially people that aren't American because uh, the beautiful thing is silver is pegged at US dollars so as the US dollar fluctuates it can be a hedge and uh, your appreciation might not even just be in the metal, it could be in the uh, value of the dollar that it's pegged to. But it's a nice, safe, tangible thing that you can hold in your hand that I like. Uh, I, you know, I like platinum, I like gold too. Now, I don't suggest people go crazy and have a large part of their portfolio in gold, but um, it's just a part of a well-balanced uh, investment scheme, I imagine. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to make this short today. I've been uh, doing a little photography um, on the lake with all the uh, Canadian goose and stuff taking advantage of the fact that it's not raining before the sun goes down. Keep your wheels on the ground. 